In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a professionally looking streaming environment for watch alongs with free tools that looks exactly like this in just a couple of clicks. Hi everyone, this is Vince from Fan Reaction Football Club and let me introduce you to a different kind of videos. As you can see, this is not the typical reaction compilation that I'm usually posting on this YouTube channel. But based on the poll that I posted a couple of days ago, I want to show you how to create this professionally looking live streaming watch along environment for free using two, three specific tools that I'm going to show you straight away. So the first tool I want to show you is called Prism Live Studio. This is an alternative to StreamYard and OBS. A lot of you guys who are already streaming on YouTube, who are already doing watch alongs are either using StreamYard or OBS. StreamYard, very simple to use, browser based with quite a lot of features, but I also see that a lot of people are struggling to actually integrate a very important element, which is the game clock and the scoreboard into their StreamYard environment. On the other hand, a lot of people are also using OBS, which is a little bit more professional. You can also customize it quite a lot, but it is also a little bit technical, meaning that if you want to have specific features, specific information showing on your stream, then you need to install plugins, etc. And for people who are just starting, OBS might be a little bit overwhelming, a little bit complicated. So Prism Live Studio is really in between. I'm not sponsored by this tool at all. I really love it myself. I discovered it. It used to have some performance issues. That's why it didn't go that mainstream, but they apparently solved that and it works really, really well. So it has somehow this in-between world of the simplicity of usage of StreamYard with the advanced features of an OBS. So I really re would recommend that you actually download and it's available for both Mac and Windows. And in combination with it, it has the Prisma Lens, which is another small tool that goes with it, which allows you to manage everything that concerns your webcam. So if you wanna create a virtual green screen or add a background element to your camera, like a, for example, an animation of a, of a stadium or something like that, you can do that on Prism Lens. And both of them integrate very well. So in your Prism Live Studio, you can integrate the Prism, Live, uh, Prism Lens very, very easily and adjust also all the colors, the filters, etc., so that you look good on stream. So these are the two first tools that I would like to tell you to use. The second tool is you know overlays amazing tool as it says free real-time overlays it is absolutely free just like prism live by the way both of them are absolutely free and it has a ton of overlays that will allow you to create the scoreboard and additional information like the lineups uh, etc for your watch along live stream but let's dive into this one a little bit later and go straight to prism live so i can show you how to add elements to prism live so we're now in prism live studio i moved the camera a little bit and this is actually the live stream watch along live stream obviously i put a still image because then i cannot integrate the camera at the same time as actually using it to talk to you in this other tool uh, but you have this environment for a watch along that looks professional and that integrates all the information that you actually need with the scoreboard the game clock the live chat the lineups and um, the viewer count and maybe also a subscribe button and I'm gonna show you exactly how to recreate exactly this environment using also the tool that I showed you before, you know over. So in Prism Live Studio, it's very easy to add elements, to add sources of elements. And if you click here on the plus, you will see that you have all the default ones, which include obviously the camera. So if you wanna just integrate your webcam, you can do it here. The microphone with the audio input, etc., etc. A lot of other things, including browser, media source, images, etc. Now, in order to simulate a little bit my presence on the camera, I cannot add the camera, which I would use using Prism Lens here, uh, which is where you go and pick up the source from Prism Lens as the separate tool you managing your webcam. But since I cannot do that because I'm already using the camera to talk to you, I'm gonna simulate it by adding a camera image that I have. I can add it. Here you go, and I have myself as an image. So here you go, you have me, I added myself as an image in the background to simulate a little bit the webcam since I cannot have the live webcam in there. And it's gonna be the background and the third, the starting point for the whole setup of the live stream. So the second element that you wanna add once you have your camera actually uh, added is obviously an overlay. And for overlays, I really recommend that you use Canva to actually create them. Uh, it's a very useful tool, right? To For any graphic design, that's not only for the overlays, but also any kind of other visual element that you that you need for YouTube, for example, thumbnails, etc. So Canva, I really recommend that you start using this tool. I created, pre-created an overlay. And uh, the really important thing is to obviously add transparency so that you can still see the camera in the back so that it just creates these elements that don't completely block the visibility. Um, so you can add it, I already have it here that I pre-created, which is a, basically an image widget where you go and pick the PNG on your desktop, for example, and I add it here. And as you see, it has all the, the design that I needed. Control F to put it at full screen. 
and here you go so you have your placeholders basically in this overlay where you can add the additional widget that i'm going to show you straight away but you can also add for example your uh, x handle your instagram handle or any other social channel uh, and then also some title for the placeholders or your channel name here i put subscribe but i'm going to show you also how i'm going to actually do something else for the subscribe button so as i said you have your placeholders with the overlay and you can add the next element which is here one of the widgets that uh, prism gives you straight away by default you don't need to install any plugins it's going to pick it up straight from your youtube channel and that's the live chat so you can add chat and they have a simulated one but as soon as you go live you will have the elements from your live chat from youtube with different layouts um, i really like this one so i use always this one and here is my placeholder for the chat obviously i need to resize it a little bit to make it fit into the, the size here you go I'm gonna just lock the overlay and the camera so that they don't move it forward. But here I can place the chat and you can have your live chat. The next element that you have as a default widget in Prism is the viewer account. Here again, directly connected to your YouTube channel. You have also different layouts. I like this one. I'm just gonna pick this one. It's a little bit small here, make it bigger. Bam, bam, bam. Put it here on the viewer account and it's gonna pick up the viewer account once you're live. You're gonna see exactly how many people are actually watching your stream and also your audience can see how many people are actually already connected and watching your stream. Last but not least of the integrated widgets available on Prism Live Studio is the Giphy sticker. And I think that's quite a useful one, specifically if you want to have an animated subscribe button. Uh, subscribe, you can type it here, subscribe, bam. And the first one, a good one, I use that and it's gonna have this animated subscribe button that you can place here and encourage them to subscribe. It's gonna rotate. But you can also, one other funny thing with this Giphy is that they have by default a lot of the, let's say, Man United, and you have a lot of these uh, animated GIFs from Man United. Some are completely outdated so that you actually see still Ronaldo, for example, in the Manchester. But you can use these, for example, for uh, for animating for goals, etc., or just to have a rotating crest, for example. Actually add that to your rotating Man United. But you know what I mean, animated GIFs that you can actually... End. So here you go. You have already quite some information on your live stream um, environment for the watch along. But the two most important ones that are missing is the game clock and the scoreboard and also the lineup, uh, which is a separate one that is pretty useful. So let me jump back into uh, Uno overlays and I will show you exactly how to configure it. So when you arrive back to Uno overlays, uh, they have a ton of free to use overlays, but the ones that really interest you are their scoreboard overlay and the football related overlays that they have. This is a US platform, so they call football soccer and football is American football. So if you wanna look at them and find them, you have to type soccer, just bear that in mind. So if you go to the library and you have all the, the functions here and you want to look for the, the function that is scoreboard and then you will have other sports like hockey or ping pong or American football. If you really want to only find the football ones, then you type in soccer and then it's going to show you all the ones that are soccer. Why is it important? Because it has specific features that are dedicated to our sport. The one we like, for example, the game clock, etc., is actually fitted for soccer football matches and uh, that's what you want. Now in my library, I already have the one that I prefer, which is uh, this one with this format. I'm gonna open it and you will recognize straight away the scoreboard that I have on my, uh, on my live stream in Prism. And I'm gonna walk you a little bit through all of it. So here in the customize tab, you will be able to change the color of the scoreboard and uh, game clock uh, using the colors of your favorite team. Here I use the claret of uh, Aston Villa, for example, and then a yellow, uh, also the yellow from um, uh, Aston Villa, I believe, to, um, to for, for the, the numbers. But basically you can completely customize it. You can also change the position, put it more centered, vertically also position it in the screen or change the width and the height to make it larger or uh, higher, etc. So you can really completely customize how it looks. Then in the setup tab, you can actually change obviously the home and away team names and type the right ones. You can change the logos. And here I would recommend again to have a library with all the crests pre-formatted in a square format so that they actually fit perfectly here and here. Because if you have something a little bit vertical, they're gonna be cropped at the top of bottom. Um, so have a library. And here, as you can see, I already uploaded all the crests in um, a square format. So I can actually use them straight away. Let's say if I wanna change uh, to Arsenal, then I, I'm gonna have Arsenal here and change Arsenal, sorry, cap capital Arsenal. Here you get the logo and the crest perfectly fitting. The next step is the drop down where you can add additional information during the game. So, for example, if there's a VRR check, you can actually write it there. You can have uh, icons for substitutes when people are, uh, players are coming in and out. Uh, you can change the name and the numbers. 
uh, red card announcements, yellow card announcements, or goal announcements, where again, you can put the name of the player and his number and make it appear whenever this information is coming. Obviously, you need to keep on the pulse, but I will also show you how to easily change these things directly during the stream and have it in a convenient way. And then the match time, a very important one where you can actually uh, start from the first half, uh, reset it, and it will start from zero. You can actually add seconds and minutes to synchronize it with the stream that you're actually watching. So it's, it's exactly the same time. Very important to do. Uh, then obviously you pause it and reset it and then put the second half and start on the second half. I think it's always good when you start the game clock on the second half from 45 minutes so that it continues because some streamers are unfortunately starting the second half from zero, which also makes it difficult for me to actually find the right clip and to clip the right clip. Uh, but that's an extra additional feature that is nice. You can have, if it's a game with extra time, start from the first extra time, second extra time. And you can also, whenever there is stoppage time at the end of a first or second half, let's say at the second half, there's uh, an additional uh, three minutes of extra stoppage time. You can also add it there and make it appear. And then once it's over, you just click to make it disappear. And then finally, score overlay, where you can actually manage the scores and very easily change them in real time. But also, if there are some red cards, add some red cards here up to five red cards uh, for each of the teams just by clicking there. As I said, having this panel and changing it during your live stream, some of you only have one screen and it makes it a little bit difficult when you have the screen, you have the live stream, you can't really easily open this uh, this window uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to control the settings. Well, Uno makes it very easy for you to actually make it on your phone. If, if you go here, you will have a QR code appearing and if you scan it with your phone, quickly do it. If you can't scan it with your phone, then you will have, as you can see, the app directly here on your phone and you will be able to change every param parameter from this overlay. So changing the score, changing the red cards, but also adjusting the time directly on your phone, which is extremely practical uh, if you want to be doing it during the live stream. So yeah, that's that's really, really, really convenient. And obviously here it's the game, the, the scoreboard and the game clock, but you can then also have the lineups, that's a different widget that I'm using. If you open it here, exactly, you have this different widget for adding the lineups. So you could have here customizing, you have the same customization for colors, but you can then also change the logo, change the name, define how many lines, and then fill each of the lines with the name and the numbers of the players. And if you want to have it also for the opposing team, you can create a second uh, layout. And then if you want to show it, just click there. And as you will see, it actually changes to the other team. See the Arsenal players and the PSG logo is absolutely not accurate, accurate, but it's just to show you how it works. Now, going back to the scoreboard, and uh, now the question is, okay, Vincent, this is all nice, but how do I integrate it into the stream? Well, it is very, very easy. And I will show you straight away. Next to the button for having the controls, you have the copy output URL button. You just have to click that and jump to your Prisma live stream. Let me quickly go back to the Prisma live stream studio. So once you copy the link to the actual scoreboard and game clock, um, you can add it as a widget into the Prisma live studio environment by picking the browser widget and that you can call scoreboard. I'm not going to do it here. I'm going to pick the one that I already have. Exactly. So, so you see, you, you pick the one that you already have. Uh, and as you see, yeah, the, you can just paste here in the browser widget um, the link to the actual scoreboard from the app, uh, the Uno Overlays app. You change the width to 1280 to 720 to make it 16 by 9. And there you go, you have it here. Then you just press Control F to make it full screen and it appears nicely into your watch along stream layout. Now, as you see, there's still a placeholder fill to fill and that's the one for the lineup. And I already have it in my browsers lay a widgets the lineup just use add existing source click on lineup and here you go you have the lineup as it's currently standing Control f to make it the right size and then you can reposition it to actually fit perfectly your overlay and here you go you have the full professionally looking live watch along stream environment to start streaming on youtube with the live scoreboard and game clock and all the elements that you need and you're ready to go live you're ready to go live and to go do that, you just need to click on go live. You need to create the, the, the live stream on YouTube, on your channel, connects perfectly, very easy to go live. And uh, from there on, you will see that uh, as soon as you go live, the live chat is going to populate with the comments happening on your live stream and everything is great. So I hope this video was help to, helpful to you guys. I hope it's going to encourage a lot of you to try it. It's all for free. As you can see, all the tools are free. You just need to have a computer. You need to have a webcam 
a microphone, you don't even need it. And um, you can use your computer uh, microphone and you can actually start streaming and doing a watch along on a YouTube channel yourself. And who knows, maybe you're the next Flying Pig, you're the next Mark Goldbridge. Uh, yeah, that would be awesome. And it's uh, really exciting. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if I missed anything or there's anything that is unclear. Just put it in the comments. Also tell me if you actually like me doing these kind of tutorial videos where I explain to you how it works. I really love to share this information, this knowledge with the community whenever I find anything that could be useful to you guys. Uh, that's really, really cool. So let me know. Also, I would really appreciate if you like uh, this video, uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Only 15%, not even 13% of you guys watching the reaction compilations are subscribed to the channel would be really awesome. And um, yeah, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future uh, watch alongs, uh, compilations, reaction compilations. Until then, enjoy the international break. Uh, let's all hope that nobody gets injured during these games that nobody cares about, right? I, even though I'm a France supporter, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of having William Saliba from Arsenal actually playing for France and risking an injury in such an important season. But that's another story. Let's all enjoy this break. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you th thought about this video. And I hope it was useful. Talk to you guys soon. Love you guys. Talk soon and see you in the next one.